What's up guys, it's Friday here from Blake Acres Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit that little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. The way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. And we're out here, beautiful summer Sunday or Monday morning actually, and we're headed out to do another quick tow, but we're not just towing a vessel. We're gonna be towing a vessel that's on a dock or a floating dock, it's basically a sea or a jet ski, some type of personal watercraft, but it's not only on its dock, it is also attached to the ramp that walks up to the person's dock or property. So we gotta go across the lake here, we're gonna grab it and teach you a little bit about towing while we're there. Right, guys just a really quick note before we start this tow i want you to notice where i'm hooked up at so not our tow bar itself but where i'm hooked at in the dock it is dead center of that structure and this was the most secure pot spot that we could find and if you can't tell the the dock system itself is just dilapidated it, there's really not much left to it but this was the most secure spot that we could find on that and then here in a little bit we're going to talk about speed you also notice that we're not even one mile an hour yet. We're just under one mile an hour with towing. Um, and that's gonna be very crucial to not overdoing your engine or putting too much wear and tear and keeping it as efficient as possible as well. Hey right, guys, we're hooked up. We got a little bit of tow. One of the key features here when you're towing is tow slow. Don't try to rush it. There's no need to wear out your engine and put a lot of wear and tear on it for a dock that's pretty much falling apart anyways and a sea -Doo. We're not so much worried about the sea ramp itself or the dock for the sea or the sea sinking. We know that they'll float, but there's still no need to really put that much wear and tear on your engine whenever you're doing tows like this. But we've got a little ways to get up the uh, lake here. We're not actually taking it back to the person's house. We're going to take it up slightly past that because we're going to tie off the dock to a beach area and then let them figure out how they're going to get their dock reinstalled. But show you a little footage going up the lake here and then. Hopefully we'll get it towed up for them. A cool little fun fact about towing. See the ripples in the water? Well, more like little mini waves. That's cause the wind's blowing. It's actually blowing quite a bit. And even though we have a tow boat and we tow with it, notice what we're towing. It's a complete dock system. There's a lot of drag here. Now, I'm gonna let dad kind of explain to you why we tow so slow to not tear up our engine, but also to be the most efficient, fuel efficient wise as well. So explain to everybody about the RPM, the miles prior, why we have to tow slower to be more efficient on towing. Well, typically we want to tow somewhere between five and six miles an hour. up you're actually going to slow it down and work your engine even harder makes sense get it to the dock though oh, uh, I mean, I can walk out on that dock. that's 
something I'm talking about, or how am I going to tie it to the dock? That's what I'm talking about. We're going to have to pull it in with my rope. Guys, for this next part, let's talk a little bit about how do you get into really shallow areas, especially if you've got something creating a, a ton of drag. In this case, if you look to the left side of the dock itself, you will notice that the ramp uh, that would be attached to land or some other dock system, it's actually pushing down in the water, and we can only get that in so far. Um, same thing as we were towing it from behind, there's only a short amount of distance that we can actually get our vessel into the shoreline. So in this case, we've opted to go in behind the dock system and just kind of nudge it in with the bow of our vessel here. And obviously you want to be very careful because you don't want to damage your vessel and you don't want to break off debris or anything like that. So this, this part here is very slow, very tedious, and it's just something that just kind of takes a little bit of nurse in this thing to get it in there. Um, our goal is to get it in close enough that she can toss us a rope, I can step over onto the dock, tie off, and then she continue to pull it in as far as, uh, as far as she can get it. Now we did get it all the way up against another dock which she had permission to tie to, but uh, there's a lot of liability here. There's liability of putting debris in the waterway, there's liability of damaging our vessel, uh, there's liability of us getting injured or uh, you know somebody else getting injured, and most of the time when we tow, um, depending on the situation the majority of the time we'll we'll put somebody on our vessel and don't always let them stay in their vessel in this case we weren't going to let anybody ride on this basically dilapidated dock while we towed it um, so we of course had her go by land over to our uh, our destination but yeah a lot of liability when you do this and you don't want to injure yourself or of course damage your vessel while towing all right guys another successful tow was able to get the dock tied off to another one for the uh, owner there um, when you do toes like this, a couple things I want to give you some pointers on. First of all, always go slow. We talked about that earlier in the video. And number two, be careful who you tow for. This particular customer that we tow for, we've done salvage work before, and sometimes those customers refuse to pay. So before you get into work like this, you may want to talk to your local attorney, or if you're a business, talk to your business attorney to see what options you have when you tow, and then of course somebody refuses to pay. Now, thankfully she did pay on this one. However, in the past, she's not always paid. So something to think about before you get into towing. Also think about liability, think about insurance, and most importantly, think about safety. Always wear your PFDs whenever you're out here doing work like this. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do wanna see more towing videos and wanna learn more about it, give me a big thumbs up or drop me a comment down below of things that you would like to learn about, and hopefully we can make you some videos to help you out. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.